be my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up. And make me own. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me own. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Feed my cup, fill it up and make me whole. Feed my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench. The testing of my soul, bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord, I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, make me whole. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven. Feel me till I want no more. Feel my cup, fill it up, make me whole. Feel my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the testing of my soul. Bread of heaven, feel me till I want no more. Be my cup, fill it up, make me whole. Hallelujah. This is Reverend Dr. Stephen Jones, our Miracles Radio and Television Ministries, reaching you all the way from Silver Spring, Maryland. I'm here to share with you today on the power of the Holy Spirit, how you can receive the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third person in the Godhead. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God manifested himself as Father, manifested himself as Son, and then manifested himself as the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was the promise of the Father. In Joel chapter 2, verse 27 and 28, 
the prophet Joel, which is the, the prophet of Pentecost. He prophesied the, in the end time there shall be an outpouring of the Holy Ghost and the power of God. And uh, your sons and daughters shall prophesy and they shall see visions and revelations. Uh, God is uh, uh, for the Spirit on the day of Pentecost, the, the fulfilling the promise of the Father. You know, Jesus, before he ascended on Mount Olives in Galilee, he said, uh, You wait for the promise of the Father. That's Luke 24 49. Luke 24 49, Jesus said, Wait for the promise of the Father, tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And uh, the disciples obeyed and they went into a time of prayer in the upper room. 120 believers in the upper room were praying and asking God for the, the promise of the Father, which is the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. They were praying and praying. The Bible said they were in one accord. Acts chapter 2 from verse 1 to 15. They were in one accord. And because they were in one accord, heaven answered. And the power of God came down. The Holy Spirit filled the 120 believers in the upper room in Jerusalem. And they were filled with the, with the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. And began to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. The glory of God, the presence and the anointing of God filled their lives. And they were now ready to preach the gospel. You know, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Say, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. The Holy Spirit empowers you to preach the gospel. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Say, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and then to the uttermost part of the earth. And then the disciples were now ready to preach the gospel. The power of God has come. And so they started preaching. In Acts chapter 3, you see uh, Peter demonstrating the power of God. He told the cripple at the gate, saying, In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And uh, the cripple began to walk. And uh, he preached a sermon that led 3,000 souls to Christ on the same day. You see, there's power in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers us to do the work. A lot of Christians have been in church for many years. They don't have the power of the Holy Spirit. This is your time. This is the moment. Now is the time for the new anointing. Every yoke must be broken. You know the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers you, anoints you. The Holy Spirit makes you to be able to speak boldly. You remember Acts 10, 38? Acts chapter 10, verse 38. It says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth who went about doing good and healing all manner of sicknesses and diseases. Acts 10, 38. God anoints us with the Holy Ghost and with power to preach the gospel. That's what it's all about. Don't you preach empty gospel. Your gospel must be empowered by the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit empowers the gospel you are preaching, then it becomes effective. Souls will be won to Christ, mainly to come to the Lord Jesus. The Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit empowers us. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. It says, For we know not what we should be praying for, but the Holy Spirit gives us utterance for us to be able to pray aright. We should know what to pray for. The Holy Spirit helps us in prayer. With the speaking in tongues and the power of God in us, we pray aright. The Holy Spirit is our comforter in John chapter 14. Verse 26, say the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit consoles you. He empowers you. He comforts you. He's our helper. He's our strengthener. He stands by you. The Holy Spirit speaks too. In Acts chapter 13, verse 2. Acts chapter 13, verse 2. He said, the Holy Spirit said, separate me, Barnabas and Paul, for a mission for which I have called. The Holy Spirit gave direction. See, he speaks, he gives direction, he leads, he guides. John chapter 14, he says, He shall guide you into all truth, the spirit of truth, the spirit of God. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of boldness and of power and of his sound mind, whereby we can shout our Father. The Holy Ghost anoints us for service. The Holy Spirit helps us to live victoriously. 
I remember in 1977 when I received Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. I gave my life to Christ. I asked for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and God released the power of the Holy Spirit into my life. I will never the same again. The power came upon me and I could speak the word of God without fear or favor. That's what we need today. The Holy Spirit anoints you. Scripture says, if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, it shall quicken your mortal body. The Holy Spirit revives. The Holy Spirit quickens. He giveth life. The words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. The flesh profited me too, but the spirit quickened. The Holy Spirit quickens. He revives. See, that's what you need for an effective Christian living. For you to live victoriously, you need to have this power of the Holy Spirit in your life. Wherever you are right now, I want to pray with you. You've been in church all these years and you have never received the power of the Holy Spirit. Now is the time. And let Him fill you to overflowing. I want you to lay your right hand on your laptop or computers or television or radio or iPods or whatever device you are using to listen right now. I tell you there is no distance in prayer. The power of the Holy Spirit is coming to you right here. God is going to minister to you. You need to repent and accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Let Jesus cleanse your heart right now. Let the Holy Spirit come into your heart and dwell in you. Yes, Lord Jesus, I pray for everyone who have heard this word. Lord Jesus, let thy Holy Spirit come into their hearts. Fill them with your Spirit. Fill them with your anointing. Holy Spirit, possess them right now. The devil will not possess you. The Spirit of God shall possess you right now. And you shall be a child of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus, I pray that every other spirit, that was not of God in you, be casted away in Jesus' name. May the Holy Spirit enter into your life and fill you to overflowing that you might become what God wants you to be. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I know something good has happened to you. Continue to ask for the Holy Spirit. Even if you are receiving before, continue to ask for more of Him. Not an ankle deep anointing, not a loin deep anointing. But an overflowing power of the Holy Spirit. You need more of Him. You need to be filled to overflowing. The Bible says Jesus had the Holy Spirit without measure. Peter was so anointed that his shadow was healing the sick. Paul was so anointed that his handkerchief was healing the sick. You need to be filled to overflowing. In the name of Jesus. I want you to email me. OurMiraclesTV at Juno.com OurMiraclesTV at Juno.com you can call us on the phone, area code 240 552 area code 240 Visit our website, ourmiraclestv.net, ourmiraclestv.net. And we invite you to watch it with us at the Jesus Christ Global Mission, 850 Sligo Avenue, Suite LL1, Silver Spring, Maryland, 20910. We want you to come every Saturday. And Sunday evenings by 7 p.m. we have fellowship there. We share the word and we pray and we minister to people. Also on Monday and Tuesday evening, 7 p.m. we have a revival service and miracle services. We want you to come with your families and friends. God will do you good. Felicia and I will invite you to come and receive God's healing power, receive God's anointing, and receive the Rema Word. That will transform your life in the name of Jesus. Come with all your friends. Feel free to call us. Area code 240-552-5899. Jesus loves you. We all love you too. And we pray that the Holy Spirit will be your portion. And may God anoint you with the power of the Holy Spirit. For you to walk the works of God. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. See my cup Lord. I lift it up, Lord. I want you to forward this message to all your friends and well wishers. Forward this link, this website, this uh, email. Forward this message of the Holy Spirit to all your people. Let them know that the Holy Spirit is the power they need to be successful Christians. The Holy Spirit empowers you to live victoriously. Forward this message to them and let them receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. See my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord.
Coma Quente.